Greetings my noble knights, it is I, Blaze Templar, and today we are getting ready for our second PIBA battle this week, being week two of the PIBA League, um, and the Blue League for that matter, and we will be going up against the Chicago Sacred Fires, who is, um, which are coached by Stab, or StabX5 if you're looking on Twitter. Um, I do like their um, logo, it's a pretty cool logo, it's like a fire badge slash ho-oh, so pretty cool thing. Anyway, let's go ahead and look at what they've got. And this, of course, is... Oh, I'm so sorry, I'm tired. Um, an interesting and very threatening team with Mega Metagross, very powerful Pokemon with the Tough Claws ability in particular. Um, has Zen, Headbutt, Meteor Mash, Bullet Punch, etc. Really threatening Pokemon. And the base 1 speed, 10 speed is excellent, too. Um, Hydreigon, another really threatening Pokemon, um, as the Z-Captain, so he could be like running uh, the Z, uh, Devastating Drake, uh, Z, um, whatever the dark type version of it is, um, with like Dark Pulse. Or it could be a Choice Scarfer, which is actually very viable and very threatening, base 98, pretty good speed tier. Uh, he's got Clefable, um, an excellent like Calm Mind setup, Mon, or a... Um, just a really annoying, unaware Pokemon. Um, all sorts of options there to really be a threat. Um, Raikou, always a great Pokemon, um, just because it is uh, able to run so many different sets. Assault Vest being one of the more common ones, but it's still a great Pokemon. Um, Delmi's another very viable Assault Vest user. Um, rapid Spin. Um, Trick ring target if you really want to be just cheeky. I doubt anyone's going to actually do that. It's hilarious, though. Um, a, a shadow sn I don't know. Does it get Shadow Sneak? Mm. Uh, it does get Anchor Shot, which can be a pain in the neck to deal with. Um, Talonflame, fast fire type. Um, not as good as it once was last generation. A lot better. But still a good Pokemon. Alamomola, just as usual, it's a wall that's hard to kill. A Selgor, very po uh, very quick Pokemon, um, can set up hazards, so I'm going to want hazard removal just because of a Selgor. Um, and of course Metagross can set up rocks too, so he's got plenty of uh, hazard capability. Um, Tauros, very quick, powerful Pokemon, uh, very physical, so if you get that burned it's basically useless. Again, Hydreigon. I'm not sure why Hydreigon's listed as both the Z-Captain and the whatever. Um, Lucario. Um, interesting Pokemon, you can run special, physical, um, and it has just a really great move second and a good speed tier. So it can do a lot of work, and last, but not re least, is the Rhyperior. A uh, very slow Pokemon, even after Rock Polish it tends to be pretty slow, um, but it has an immense amount of power and its Solid Rock ability really gives it the ability to do some damage. Um, so, that's honestly a team that's very difficult to prepare for. Um, and I thought I had prepared for most situations, but looking at his team going into this week, I am a little bit nervous, I won't lie. Uh, it's a really, really good team, um, especially as I don't have some of the Pokemon I wanted to check some of his threats. Uh, Mega Scissor would have been really great. Um, sure, he could have run like Fire Blast, but I could have dealt with that. Anyway, um, so I had to figure out a way to deal with this particular um, team, and like I mentioned, pretty threatening team at that. Um, and if you can see, my mouse is scrolling across the bottom here because apparently I can't find the team because it's over here. Anyway, so I decided, you know what, what we're going to do is we're going to have a tu turn core team in Noivern and Dormanitan. Um, so we can get some nice damage off. Uh, U turn mostly for Noivern to get out of situations it just doesn't just doesn't like and um, can stay in situations it does like, drop a Draco, uh, spin around with some Hurricanes, or blast with Flamethrower. Um, gives it pretty good coverage, quite a bit of power. Um, sure, its space stats aren't the best, but um, it has the speed and the power to do some work. Um, Darmanitan is the other key pivot of the uh, Volt Turn team, even though it's not a Volt Switch. Um, with U-Turn, and I decided to run Adamant. I am not 100% sure if I'm going to leave it that way, because if he decides to be cheeky and run Modest, uh, Scarf, Hydreigon, my uh, timid, or my Jolly 
Scarf Darmanitan would outspeed him, and so it's kind of one of those toss-ups where um, if he does decide Scarf, the jolly nature would favor me, but at the same time, if he's not Scarfed, the power would definitely come in handy. Um, so that's why I'm kind of thinking there. Um, next is Miss Magus, my uh, potential Z captain, but this week I decided I'm not going to run a Z move, um, even though it'd be kind of fun to run some of the more unusual Z stones that Miss Magus can throw on itself. Um, instead, I want to do some trick shenanigans with the choice specs, and um, with those choice specs, it'll actually hit pretty hard until I switch uh, charge beam just to try to get its power boosted a little bit um, and still do some damage because you don't want to be locked in a nasty plot um, until after you've gotten the item tricked away. Um, so yeah, I decided charge beam just so I'd have some offensive pressure if I want to get some attack boosts um, and not trick away my specs. Um, so it kind of worked out, and plus the uh, electric coverage would be nice for the Alan Momola. Uh, Hidden Power Fighting plus Shadow Ball has universally uh, decent coverage. It doesn't hit everything super effective, but it hits everything. So that's why that's there. Um, plus Hidden Power Fighting hits a couple of his Pokemon really hard that I wouldn't be able to hit otherwise very well. Um, notably Hydreigon, Hidden Power Fighting. Choice Specs, Hidden Power Fighting. Hmm. It won't enjoy that. Um, I guess it could be an Assault Vest one, which I'll be able to tell pretty quick in that case and react accordingly. Um, next, I decided Specially Defensive Heatran. I needed some kind of wall, um, and Heatran really did fit the bill this week. Um, sure, I'm running two fire types, but in this situation, it really was my only check to Hydreigon. Um, although it's a soft check because if it has Earth Power, could be a big problem for Heatran. Um, I could have run air, air Balloon, but I knew it was going to get popped really quick, so I decided Leftovers with Protect, so I could kind of scout out, and I'll have to read the plays really well, and I'm kind of hoping it is in fact a um, spec or a choice set, like a Scarf or a Specs, because then I can play around it a little easier. Sure, it'll hit harder and put me in difficult situations at time, but between Miss Magus's Levitate and Heatran's Steel Typing, um, I should be able to deal with it because it'll lock itself into Earth Power to try to kill Heatran. Then Miss Magus can come in, um, dodge that, and hit it with the Hidden Power Fighting if it decides to stand, which is unlikely, so I'll be able to predict that. Go for Shadow Ball and maybe trick its specs later. Um, if I know it's like a scarf, then I'd be able to mess around with items a little bit and like, oh, well, your fast thing is no longer fast. Now I'm going to make your uh, slow thing faster, but take away its ability to switch up moves. Um, and so can play some mind games with Miss Magus maybe, um, switch items around here and there and maybe get an advantage there. Uh, last, I did mention I did need a spinner or a magic bouncer. Unfortunately, Espeon, really not the best per uh, Pokemon to bring against this team as he has so many uh, ways to deal with Espeon. Delmi's doesn't really care about Espeon too much. Um, Metagross just destroys it with Pursuit. Um, I'd have to run max physical defense to survive a Pursuit from Metagross. And yeah, I mean, and Hydreigon just Dark Pulses it, Lucario just knocks it off, uh, Selgor just Bug Buzzes it, and outspeeds it, so it's just like, I can't really bring the Espeon, but I do need to have the possibility of getting rid of the rocks, and so I decided uh, Hitmonchan kind of filled that role for me a little bit, um, and so... I decided to run that particular Hitmonchan, and I decided to drop the Thunder Punch, which I would have run otherwise because it would have hit Alamomola for super effective damage, taking it out. But I needed the Rapid Spin, so I looked at what he had, and I needed Ice more than I needed Electric. Outside of Alamomola, um, Electric doesn't do too much that Ice doesn't do. Uh, sure, it hits Sound Flame also for super effective, but um, Drain Punch, Drain Punch, Drain Punch. Drain Punch again, Ice Punch works just fine, Thunder Punch would do the same thing, um, Drain Punch hits okay, Thunder Punch would be awesome, but um, Ice Punch obviously doesn't work so well here, Ice Punch does neutral here, um, Ice Punch does super effective, Drain Punch again, um, it doesn't matter which elemental punch I'd use against 
Clefable. Hydreigon would rather get hit by a Thunder Punch than an Ice Punch. And Metagross, well, Fire Punch, honestly, would be the best there. But as you can see, don't really want to run Fire Punch, especially since I have Flamethrower, I have Darmanitan with Flare Blitz, and I have Lava Plume. So I have plenty of fire. I don't really need a third fire attack, um, or a fourth, actually, in this case. Um, so I'm kind of prepared for the Heatran, I th or the... the Mega Metagross, I think, as I just have so many things I can hit hard enough to kind of take it out pretty quick. Um, and as long as I can keep the rocks off the field, I can keep uh, pressure up with Darmanitan and Noivern. Um, and then Gyarados, I decided to run an odd set, uh, Rest Talk, because I don't have a physical wall this week. So Gyarados is going to kind of have to fit that bill, um, and I'm going to have to rely on Intimidate, Rest, Dragon Dance... Um, that kind of thing. And so, um, actually I'm going to have to change up its set a little bit because I need to get Dragon Dance on the set still. But, you know, um, I may get rid of Sleep Talk, get Dragon Dance there. Um, but, yeah. Um, gives me options to kind of deal with this team a little bit better. And, you know, um, that's kind of how that cookie crumbles. Anyway, um, that's all I have for you at the moment, but we'll be seeing you in the next Piba battle, which should be pretty soon, so, yeah, until then, later.